الحمد لله حمد كثير طيب ومبارك فيه نحمد تعالى ونستعينه وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله أنظر إلى خلق الله look at the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at how beautiful his subhanahu wa ta'ala his creation is how vast how full of amazement how astonishing this creation is and it's all from him tabarak ta'ala it's because he is the creator of the heavens and earth, the sustainer, the provider. Ar-Razzaq, dhul quwwatun mateen. Wa la na'budu illa iyahu. And we don't worship except him. That's the whole ghai of the, the creation. That's the whole purpose of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation is that we worship him, tabarak wa ta'ala alone. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ وَالْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ That it was all created to worship Him. You know, to realize, to actualize عُبُدِيَة Servitude to Allah, to seek to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To seek to remove yourself from the servitude of the creation to the servitude of the creator, which is Allah. And these are just his signs, the wonder, the majesty, in order just to remind us, in order to remind us of his might and his power, and that he can take any of this away from us. As he created it. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We came, we came from Allah, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and began our creation. And to him we shall return. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. So reflect upon these dhikriyat.